All right, guys, so the brush that I'm going to be using, I'm just going to quickly show you guys is this brush called Large Sharp from the brush set called Markers. And the reason why I use this brush to um, do line art is because of its uniformity, as in it just distributes the uh, pigmentation of color in this very uniform way. And that's what we are looking for when we are creating a line. Another brush which you can use is Tattoo Inker. Now it does have a little bit of texture. I would use this brush if I was making or drawing a portrait. This brush is amazing for that. So these are like two brushes I really, really like um, for line art. So whatever brush you like out of both of them, you can just pick one and just give it a try. You know, um, draw a few strokes here and there to see what brush you want to use out of these two. So for this one, I am going to go ahead with large sharp. And before we move ahead and actually start with the line art, what you want to do is you want to um, enable this tool called stabilization, if that's what you call it. Now this brush might not stabilize the lines you're drawing right away, but once you're done drawing a stroke, it actually um, changes it and just um, kind of stabilizes, as in removes any zigzags from the line. So with that being said, what you wanna do is you wanna be confident with your strokes, as in do not draw small or short strokes while you are creating a line art. Try to draw long strokes as in try to draw a line, a longer line in just one go, as long as you can draw it. As you guys can see, I tried drawing long, longer strokes right here around the fingers, but because we have a lot of um, turns and twists going on around the fingers it was kind of hard but still just leave a little bit of gap if you are not able to cover the whole thing in just one go you can leave some gaps just leave the gaps do not worry about those right now we'll be fixing it later so that's what i'm doing here i am just going ahead and i'm trying to draw longer strokes as much as I can, even if the shape or whatever you're drawing line art over is kind of hard, as in it has a lot of twists and turns and a lot of detail going on. Do not worry about it. And if you have to kind of leave some sort of gap between two lines, do that, okay? We'll be fixing it later. But just make sure, keep your focus on drawing longer strokes in just one go. That helps a lot. And also, for the stabilization tool, do not go all the way up to five, especially if your rough sketch has a lot of detailing. I would suggest three is good enough. Um, you can turn it up to four, but three is good enough in my eyes. Also, you guys, if you're not confident with your confidence strokes, then just pause for a minute and just start drawing random strokes on the canvas so that you can just gain some confidence around drawing longer strokes. And then you can actually implement that on your painting or whatever it is that you are drawing your line art over. So now I'm just going to speed through the process so that you guys can see how I'm doing it. And then we're going to move forward to the part where we connect the dots. Now we're gonna connect the gaps between the lines. So for that, what you have to do is you have to actually zoom in all the gaps you have created. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you this one example, how we do it. So we're zooming into this gap. And once you have zoomed in, just connect the, connect the gap, like connect the lines and just do not change the size of the brush. Keep it the way it was the whole time uh, you were creating the line art and just zoom in and connect the lines. It's that easy. The only the problem occurs when you are zoomed out of your painting and you're trying to connect it. It looks as if the lines are overlapping each other. Zooming in really helps in making sure that the lines are not overlapping. I hope that is making sense. That's how you create nice looking line art because you are going to have some gaps here and there. Like you, uh, it's just impossible to draw over the rough sketch in just one go, you are gonna have some gaps, right? So 
This is the trick. This is the way you actually connect the lines. And I do have a video on line art for sketchbook, but I actually did not really show how I connected the gaps. So a lot of people were confused because of that. So I decided to make an updated video on line art. So that's that's it. Like it's really, really easy. And it um, actually the stabilization tool makes it a lot easier. So I would highly recommend you guys to just make sure that you enable this tool. Now, once you're done with your line art, now it depends uh, how you're going to color it. But just do, you know, if this is going to be just a painting where you're just going to do line art and you're just going to forget about everything else. What I like to do in that case is I like to add some sort of shadow here and there. So for that, I picked up Tattoo Inker and I placed random lines wherever I wanted to add this dark kind of shadowy thing. And then I went ahead and picked up Colorless Brush to just blend this part out. This is not necessary and this is not um, a part of the line art process. Obviously, after your line art, you are going to go ahead with the painting part of it, with the coloring part of it. I'm just showing you if you just want to keep it a line art, if that makes any sense. It just makes the line art look that much more um, prettier and beautiful. So again, you can skip this part. And also, if you want your line art to be thick, here I actually used a smaller sized brush. It depends on you. The thickness of the line art definitely depends on you. I just went ahead with a thinner line for this one because a thicker one would have, you know, made this whole painting look more cartoonish. So if that's the kind of painting you are actually drawing, if you are drawing some sort of cartoon, I would suggest using a larger size brush for your line art. Other than that, you are pretty much done here. That's how you create a clean line art. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you do end up creating anything out of my tutorials, tag me on Instagram or DM me your paintings. I would love to see those. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video.